All right, thanks for watching. And today I would like to introduce you to the new kid on the block called the block test. And it simply says the follows. It says that a series converges. So sum from n equals one to infinity, a n converges if and only if the following new and cool series converges. The sum from k from zero to infinity of two to the k a2 to the k, which is just, so 2 to the 0, a2 to the 0, so just uh, a1 plus 2a2 plus 4a4 plus 8a8, dot, 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 converges. And it's called the block test because it groups terms of the series into blocks of length 2 to the k. And in order um, to show you how awesome this is, I want to apply this to the P-series so you can easily figure out when the P-series converges or diverges. So example one, for which P does the following series converge the sum from n equals 1 to infinity of 1 over n to the P. And I know I'm gonna get a flood of comments saying, oh, you can just use the integral test. That's not the point of this video. I wanna show you how elegant this becomes using the block test. Well, this is a to the a n, right? And so all we need to show is that two to the k, a two to the k, that sum converges or diverges. So look at the sum from k, from 0 to infinity, of 2 to the k, a 2 to the k, which becomes the sum from k equals 0 to infinity of, let's see, uh, 2 to the k, okay, and then a 2 to the k, it's 1 over, so now you replace n to n by 2 to the k, so 1 over 2 to the k, p, which just becomes the sum from k equals zero to infinity of two to the k over two to the k p. And well, you will see soon what this becomes. It's quite nice. That becomes the sum from k equals zero to infinity of, well, two to the k minus k p which you can just write as the sum from k equals 0 to infinity of 2 to the 1 minus p times k. But notice, this term here is constant. So this is nothing else than the geometric series. That's just 2 to the 1 minus p plus 2 to the, uh, or I guess 1 plus plus. 2 to the 1 minus p plus 2 to the 1 minus p squared, da, da, da. And the question is, when does that converge? Well, when the middle thing is less than 1. So we know from the geometric series that this converges if and only if 2 to the 1 minus p is less than 1. And remember, 1 is 2 to the 0, so we just need to figure out when 1 minus p is less than 0, but this just implies p is greater than 1. So you see, without even using the integral test, we can simply uh, determine if this converges or not. And again, the nice thing is, what's, uh, that block test, all it does for this series, it converges the p-series into a geometric series. Who would have thought? And as another application, let's do the same thing, but with, I believe, um, uh, n log n to the pth power. So here's a second example for which for which p does the following thing converge, does the sum from uh, n equals 1 to infinity, no, n from, let's see, uh, 
2 to infinity of 1 over n ln of n p converge. And again, integral test gang, this video is not for you. I again just want to show you how this block test is awesome. Well, all we need to do is check test for the following. So consider the following. So the sum from um, this time, well, because it starts at 2, think 2 to the what equals 2? Well, 2 to the 1 equals 2. So this starts from 1 to infinity of, uh, let's see, 2 to the k, a 2 to the k, which now becomes the sum from k from 1 to infinity of 2 to the k over 2 to the k ln of 2 to the k p, and that just becomes 1, so sum from k from 1 to infinity of, this cancels out, and we get 1 over k ln of 2 to the pth power. But then this simplifies, that becomes a sum from k equals 1 to infinity, 1 over kp, k to the p, and ln of 2 to the p. But this thing is just a constant, so it comes out, so it's 1 over ln of 2 to the p, the sum from k equals 1 to infinity, 1 over k to the p. But look, this is just a p-series. So the block test, con uh, the block test transforms the original series into a p-series, and this converges if and only if p is greater than 1. How cool is that? And in the next video, I will give you more examples of that block test. Again, just to notice how uh, elegant this is. Thank you very much.